What is up everyone, Matt the Maths Guy here, and today we're looking at prime and composite numbers. Let's jump into it. Okay, so we're gonna look at prime and composite numbers today, and we're gonna be looking at four example numbers and working out whether they are prime or composite and why. Okay, but before we can do that, let's have a look at our definitions. So a prime number, a prime number is a number with only two factors, one and itself. And we're gonna discuss what that means in a minute. And composite numbers are numbers that have more factors than just one and itself. So a range of different factors. So let's look at our first example, the number six. And let's discuss whether we think this is prime or composite. So if we go back to our definitions, we know that a prime number is a number with only two factors, one and itself. Whereas the composite has more factors. So let's see what we get here. So we need to start with what is a factor? A factor is an integer, which means whole number, times by another integer equals the number that we're looking at, which in this case is six. So basically, two numbers that multiply together to equal the number six. So the first one we can always start with is one and six. And at this point, if this is the only set of factors that we can get, then this six would be a prime number. But let's see if we have any more factors. Well, I know that two times three also equals six. So therefore, six is not a prime number. So our factors for the number six are one, two, three, and six. Now let's look back at our definition. Two factors, one and itself, means it's a prime number. And more than just those two factors means it's a composite. So the number six is a composite number. Okay, let's have a look at the next one, number seven. So what are the factors of number seven? Let's do the logical sequence again. Let's start with number one times seven. Can we do anything multiplied by two? Well, no, because it's an odd number, and we know that odd numbers can't divide by two. What about the number three? Three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, so no. Three doesn't work either. What about four? Four, eight, no. What about five? Five, ten, no. What about six? Six, twelve, no. So we're then we're back to seven, and we end up with seven times one. And we know we don't need to do that because we've already got one times seven. So therefore, the only factors of the number seven are one and seven. Okay, so let's look back at our definitions. A prime number is a number with only two factors, one and itself. And that's exactly what we've got here, one and itself, the number seven. So, seven equals a prime number. Okay, let's have a look at our next example, number 12. Now I'm gonna let you in on a bit of a secret here, a bit of a top tip. We have an even number here. So by definition, we can always divide an even number by two. So does it mean that no even numbers can be prime numbers? Let's check. So 12, I can start with one and 12, two and six, three, and four, and then I'm back to four, which means I don't need to do it. So I have six prime numbers, one, two, three, four, six, and 12. So this is another composite number. Now let's just think about what I just said there. I just said all even numbers can't be prime because we can always multiply them by two. But what about this number, the number two? The number two can only be multiplied by one and two. So therefore two, is a prime number. And here's an interesting fact, two is the only even prime number. So that's something to remember. Okay, and let's look at question number four, 19. So we know it's odd, so there's a chance that it can be a prime number, let's see. So I can do one times 19. And now let's quickly go up our other multiplications. Can I do two times anything? No, because it's an odd number. Three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, no. Four, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, no. Five, 10, 15, 20, no. Six, 12, 18, 20, no. Seven, 14, 21, no, seven doesn't work. Eight, 16, 24, no, eight doesn't work. Nine, 18, 27, no, nine doesn't work. 10, 20, no, doesn't work. 11, 22, 12, 24, 13, 26, 14, 28, 15, 30, 
1632, 1734, 1836. So therefore, we know that this, this is the only two numbers that can be multiplied together to equal 19. So this equals, that's right, a prime number. So let's go over the things to remember. A prime number is a number with only two factors, number one and the number itself. Most prime numbers are odd, except the number two. That's right, well done. A composite number is the opposite of a prime number, and it's the numbers that have more than two factors. Let's have a look at these two questions. I want you to have a look at these four numbers and decide which ones are composite and which ones are prime. So have a look at these two sets of four numbers and decide which are prime and which are composite. Put your answers into the comment section below. I'm gonna mark every one. Okay, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, think about subscribing. Check out our website, www.themathsguy.com, and I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.